All right guys, Mr. Popsit here. Video coming up is a common question I see. I'm gonna call it the melanin cyst. It kind of came out with uh, looking a little darker brown. And a lot of people ask me, do people of different skin tones have dark cyst contents? Very common question in the comment section. And the only thing that makes our, our skin look different is more melanin at the surface of the skin. So Indian skin, African-American skin, Latin skin, and keep going to Scottish and Irish skin, you have a transition of less melanin and the skin gets lighter. It really just says to where you grew up and your ancestors are from more than anything else. Um, but sometimes you'll see on some of my darker skin patients uh, a very light cyst content that comes out very white, even cotton looking. And that usually means it's more sebum, oil, and proteinaceous materials. And then as in this video, you're gonna see with the melanin cyst, it, you can see the flaky skin particles that are inside the cyst. And they're darker matching his skin tone. Very common thing, it just really means what is in the cyst more than anything. And if there's a lot of uh, skin particles or skin fragments in there and the skin is darker, you're gonna see a darker content in there with more melanin. So just a common question, thought I'd answer it. Here comes the video, thanks for popping by. Okay guys, so we have an epidermal inclusion cyst here on the post neck. This is, gosh, it's probably the fifth one we've had in six weeks. We get a lot of ones on the neck and you can see how firm that is. Um, under quite a bit of pressure, about 2.5 centimeters. You can see that central punctum there, which is just a little pore that it starts where it gets clogged. So we're gonna numb that up for them, make a little cut there to drain the contents and then a little bit bigger cut so we can pull the sack out and close it. So thanks again to him for sharing and we're gonna get started here in just a minute. These are usually under a lot of pressure. I don't think you can hear the 11th. No, it's down there. It's okay. I just like to cut my little ellipse first. Because that's our handle. How we kind of hold on to it. You'll feel pressure. Any sting, though, you let me know right away. I'll be okay. the first to know, I bet. <laughs> that's good. No pain? Because I can't feel a thing. Good. That's what we want. Me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's always good. I know it's been here a while, so we just kind of break that up a little bit. And we're going to do a little pressure here. You can put chin up just a little. There you go. Help me get a little bit in there, digging it. A little pressure. Very nice. We're getting some part of the wall already, which is good. Let me know if I'm squeezing too hard. And it's interesting to note, you can see light skin and darker skin, wherever our melanin's at, a lot of time the contents, if it has some skin cells in there, will be a little darker like you can see with his. And that's normal, it looks good. Did you wanna see it or no? Some people oh. like to, yeah. <laughs> so that's the contents right Ooh. there, yeah. <laughs> and the part of the sack is in there too, so yeah. we're getting a good bit out already. <laughs> we'll do another squeeze here. Sorry, I know I'm coming down on that a little oh, bit. Good. There you go. Perfect. Once I kind of drain that sack, that ball now has shrunk down. Now I can take it out through a smaller opening. Okay. Give you a smaller scar, which is good. Now we're going to start separating here. I have a feeling it's just going to be, just from feeling it beforehand, it goes pretty deep. So we're probably going to see a deep sack there. Start spreading that. You can see that connected tissue there. When it's very fibrous, I'll come back to the blade and then use the scissors for the lower. It's pretty fibrous. You said this has been here a long time, huh? Uh, um, Years? Eh, 
probably, yeah, it just started getting bigger and bigger and it really caught my attention. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a different angle on each one, you know? It really is. Turn a little bit to the right again. Helps me see in that pocket a little better. Nice. That is looking good. Almost out. Just have one good fibrous connection on that side. And down at the bottom there, I'm going to use a blade that's pretty fibrous. <laughs> Actually, we only got like half of it out. There's still quite a bit. Contents in there. You can see. Very nice. You can see the little connections to the fibrous tissue and fat tissue underneath there. Just kind of sits in a little pocket right in the fat. And you can also see we got the whole sack out. So that's always good. You look in there, that is an empty pocket. So there's no chance of that coming back. And you can see there is still quite a bit left in that sack. You cut that in half and you can see just old dead skin and oils mixed together. Kind of that fibrous thin walled sack. It was good to have that little skin handle on top. That helps me pull so this doesn't fall apart if you just pull them on the sack. Helps you get it out in one piece, so that looks good. No pain at all? Mm -mm. Good. You're like, now I'm waiting for it. That's not cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one at the bottom, right there. Very good. Looking good, and he has a little bit of extra skin you can see here. I'm just gonna trim a little bit so it's not so lax as that comes together. You can see it piles up because it was stretched out a little. That's perfect. And just, it was one little bit right there. Nice. Now it comes down. So now I'll have you bring your chin up just a little kind of straight, a little bit more, yeah, just like that. It takes the tension off when I'm pulling the stitches together. Okay. So that is perfect. See in the video, there's quite a bit in there. Happy to get that out of there. <laughs> yeah. Right, like that. Absolutely. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know, because the board says, Yeah, it might not have been turned all the way on, that's why. You have to hit like a thing that activates it and then you can do it. It's okay, I can do it. It still does that even when it's off, it like charges the water, pushes mm -hmm. it through. I've heard it make that noise even when it's off. Just wanna make sure there's no fluid in there. Simple interrupted and just one and a half centimeter scar, not bad. Sometimes, depending on the room and the office, it's all different angles for us, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy. Okay, just tiny little simple interrupted here.
on the neck when you're going down to tie your shoes, anything, you can stretch a little bit pretty easily. So you just okay. want to be cautious and just slow movement. You don't want to pop a stitch or anything gotcha. like that. I mean, these stitches are strong. They won't break, but they'll pull through the skin sometimes. The okay. skin kind of breaks. <laughs> Almost looks like a little shadow there, huh? It's hard to see it with the light mm -hmm. on it. Can't even see where we cut it. it. Looks good. We got good tissue eversion, kind of puckering up from our deep sutures. That's what we want. And there's such good vascularization here on the scalp. We can do probably 10 days, seven to 10. What are we, Wednesday? We could do like eight. We'll mm -hmm. do next Wednesday, because it's Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Eight days will be fine. That's really nice. Yeah, coming together, super nice. Barely see where we cut it. Mm -hmm. A little tiny dab there, a little dog ear I'm gonna get off. Commonly at the end we'll have that. Right there, I'm gonna get that out for him. Right there. Pull that down and cut it straight off. Right like that. And it lays flat. Sorry, love. Did they get homework? Question mark. Hmm. Take a close look here. Nice flat cut line. Everything came together. Nice skin's land. A little bit of a pucker in the middle there. What we want to see, we put a little pressure bandage. That bump is totally gone. Almost even the pocket is, is kind of brought together with our deep stitches. So it's going to look very good. Just four little stitches we'll get out in eight days. Okay. You did great. She's going to clean that up. That was an epidermal inclusion cyst under a lot of pressure. You could see that come out. Once we got most of the contents out, that sack shrunk down. We pulled it out through a smaller uh, cut which leaves a smaller scar. So that's why we do that. You can see I utilize that little skin handle that I do. Um, you can see how thin these uh, walls are of the cysts. So if you pull on those, they'll rip apart like wet paper a lot of times. But where it adheres to that skin, that little tiny piece I cut, that's something I can hold on to and pull very hard and lift it up above you know, arteries and things that we don't want to cut. So I can just trim the bottom right under the cyst and it pops right out. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patient for sharing. That was a great removal. He'll be back in eight days for suture removal. Hey Have guys, Mr. Pops it here, Greg Langstrom PA. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to get the good word out. Um, a lot of great things coming in 2021 on my channel. Exciting new things, some merch. It's going to be a fun time. You want to be a part of it, don't miss out. Thanks for popping by.